is limited space in your kitchen, it could lead to clutter and disorganization. Small kitchens need to be organized in such a way that it uses space efficiently, creating a better workflow. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and in this episode, we will discuss 12 amazing small kitchen storage ideas. 1. An organized pantry is very important. You have to avoid adding clutter to pantry shelves by removing expired items, particularly dried goods and spices. Take inventory by making a list of your pantry staples and updating them regularly. To save space, store odd-shaped packages in baskets and bins. Label each bin and shelves with erasable markers so you can easily change the writing. Utilize your pantry doors by hanging organizers that can easily fit jars and cans. Check your pantry at least twice a month to make sure that everything is clean and in its proper place. 2. Try using a pegboard, a flexible storage space that can easily be adjusted as your needs change. Here's how to hang a pegboard. Paint the pegboard with your desired color. Measure and mark the pegboard placement. Hang mounting boards inside the bottom and top of the outline. Attach the pegboard. Organize your kitchen utensils and equipment as you see fit. 3. In order to battle cramped kitchen pace, you have to utilize innovative storage solutions, such as a stainless steel hanging dry rack that you can place over the sink. Not only does it save on space, but the water will also just fall into the sink while the dishes are drying. Its durable steel frame resists rust and corrosion, easy to clean and easy to set up. It is also made of heavy-duty material, providing reliable strength to hold your kitchen essentials. 4. One problem that many homeowners encounter is fixing the cleaning supplies cabinet, usually found under the kitchen sink. The solution is to put a rod underneath the sink where you can hang spray bottles by the nozzle. Why do this? This trick reduces the number of items on the bottom of the cabinet and makes items easier to sort. Since your hanging bottles are more accessible, it makes it easier to take stock of what cleaning supplies you still have. It saves on precious space, leaving you to store more items in the cabinet. 5. Clear food containers are better to use in small spaces because they allow you to visually identify dry goods such as coffee without needing to rummage through cramped cabinets. Another thing that will make life easier for people with small kitchen spaces is to put labels on all their containers. Use a glass etching cream which creates real etched letters on glassware and glazed ceramics. 6. Use the tops of your cabinets, stashing special occasion serving platters and extra pantry supplies that you don't use frequently. Add a nesting table that easily tucks away into your cabinet when not in use and pulls out as a bonus chopping surface. Put a lid rack on cabinet doors, storing pot lids on the inside of the door to save on cabinet space for the pots themselves. Put stacked dividers on kitchen drawers so that you can store more utensils. Add a transparent shoe organizer behind your cabinet door for even more food storage options. Invest in pull-out drawers and racks, allowing you to pack all pantry items in one location at a fraction of a space of a normal-sized pantry. 7. There is a myriad of ways to use kitchen cabinet doors. Install a wire frame holder behind a lower cabinet door to be used as a cutting board storage. You can add zip ties across the bottom to keep cutting boards from sliding through the openings. Attach a wall-mounted file folder holder behind a cupboard door to store plastic bowl lids. Hang a sheet of tin on the inside of cabinet doors for a magnetic spice rack. Hang cork boards behind cabinet doors and use hooks to hang measuring cups or pin recipes and other reminders. Put hooks on the inside of cabinets for hanging rags and pot holders. 8. Installing shelves instead of cabinets opens up cramped space and is also an ideal place to store kitchenware and other kitchen essentials. Put shelves on top of shelves. Better yet, put shelves under your shelves. This way, you get to maximize vertical space. If your kitchen cabinets don't reach all the way up, line the area underneath the ceiling with shelves to store less used items. Place vertical cabinet shelves above the refrigerator to store baking sheets muffin tins, cooling racks, and pans. 
Use a bookshelf style shelf for frequently used appliances in order to free counter space and cupboard space. This is where you put your coffee maker, microwave, juicer, and blender. 9. Here are some smart ways in which you can downsize your kitchen furniture to make them fit into your limited space. Put a half moon table instead of a full round table, particularly when there are only two or three people living in your home. Another table idea is to get a table which folds into a wall, like a Murphy bed. This can be used as an extra eating space or extra cooking counter. Use a small kitchen cart as a storage shelf or a temporary bar for entertaining. Use a three-drawer drop-leaf kitchen cart to hold extra dishes, utensils, and glassware. Place corner benches in empty corners for extra seating. You can even use benches in place of kitchen chairs paired with a square kitchen table. 10. If you have resources to do a full renovation of your small kitchen space, consider adding toe kick drawers. They are a perfect way to transform previously unused space. Also called under cabinet drawers, here is a DIY step-by-step -step installation procedure that you can do in one weekend. Remove the toe kick plate to open up the space. Measure the hole carefully and then remove the toe kick backing under the cabinets. Build the drawer boxes and cradles using plywood. Install the kitchen baseboard drawers by attaching the cradle under the cabinet using screws. Sand the drawers and match them to other cabinet drawers by staining or painting them. 11. Turn your stovetop into extra counter space during dinner prep. Build burner covers out of cutting boards. Measure stovetop to find two cutting boards that will completely cover the top of your stove. Cut one half inch tall pieces of dowels. Saw the dowel into cutting board legs and sand them to be the same height, ensuring that they are level. Mark where you want the screws to be drilled on the cutting board. Drill a hole through the center of each dowel leg. Assemble by connecting the cutting board with the dowel. Hammer and glue plastic or rubber feet on the bottom of each leg. Now it's ready to use. 12. Minimize clutter on your kitchen counter with these handy organization ideas. Use a basket to hold measuring cups, jars, and other items that you use most often in the kitchen. Free up counter space where you usually put fruits by using sturdy decorative baskets that are attached to boards on the wall. Store fruits in these baskets that are within easy reach of family members. Potatoes and onions take up a lot of counter space. Store them in steel magazine holders that fit easily on a pantry shelf. Gather your everyday kitchen essentials and arrange them neatly on a small Lazy Susan. Use an elevated stand for your dish soap, preventing slimy soap from getting onto your countertop. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. For more kitchen organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.